Okay, that's it. Ew. It's your girl Jay and today I am here with my March TBR for 2020. If you are new to this channel then you do not know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month. It is like her fun little way of being a part of my channel and she always has some theme to go along with why she chose the book. So this month's theme is interesting to say the least but bear with me. So without further ado let us get started. So this first book is where the whole theme came from. It is Squad by Mariah McCarthy and this whole theme comes from Squad. So just keep in mind Girl Squad, okay? Girl Squad. This book follows a girl named Jenna who is a cheerleader for her high school. They've always been a very tight-knit group, very like family-ish. But then her best friend starts kind of isolating herself from her and the whole cheer squad kind of turns against her and she ends up being bullied and it's like the story of that. So, the next book she chose is Secrets, Lies, and Alibis by Patricia H. Rushford and Harrison James. She chose this because when you're part of a girl squad, you keep secrets for each other. The book is basically about a rookie investigator who is trying to solve a murder and that's really like all the back of the book says. It's a race against the clock and against his past, so murder mystery. The next one she chose is The Helpline. This is by Catherine Colette. She chose this one because while well, you're in a girls group, squad, girl squad, it's kind of like a helpline and you guys are able to like gossip and like help each other out with certain things that are going on in your life. Um, I honestly don't know what this book is about. It says a woman who is great with numbers but not so great with people reluctantly finds herself becoming part of a community in this charming big-hearted day Debut. It says it's a feel-good page turner perfect for fans of Eleanor Olfiant is completely fine and The Rosie Project, which I have not read either, that will make you re-examine what it means to lead a happy life and is bound to capture your heart along the way. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just like a kind of contemporary adult kind of romancy type of situation there. The next book that she chose is It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini and she chose this because when you're in a girl squad you guys kind of share funny stories that happen to you guys and like gossip kind of like the helpline. But this is about a boy who tries to commit suicide. He is not successful and so he ends up in a mental ward and it's like the story of the people that he meets and Things like that. I know that it's a movie. Have I seen the movie? No. Have I read the book? Clearly not since it's on my TBR, but I have heard that it's a pretty good book, so I'm excited. The next book that she chose is We Are All Good People Here by Suzanne Rebecca White, and she chose this because when you are in a girl group and you are gossiping and, you know, it's not nice to gossip, but we're all good people here, so it's okay. That was her reason. I honestly don't really know that much about this one. Like there's no synopsis or anything on the back of the book from what I remember when I received the book. I looked it up on Goodreads and I believe that it's like a span of 30 years and it follows these two women who end up having daughters. They're like best friends and then the daughters meet but they live very like different lifestyles. Something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. It says, it's an astonishing and powerfully moving story inspired by true events that explores the complex relationships between two very different women and the secrets they bequeath to their daughters. Bequeath? Bequeath? I don't know how to say that word. But yeah, so that's what I think it is. I'm probably wrong. I'm sorry I'm a bad booktuber. The next book that she chose is To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin and she chose this because when you're in our girl group, you have to sometimes sit your girlfriends down and go, to be honest, your boyfriend's a dick. Break up with him. It's a thing, so that's what she chose. It follows a girl named Savannah whose older sister just moved away to college. She is not very happy about that because she is stuck at home with her overbearing mother. Her mother just was on a weight loss show, so she becomes obsessed with her weight and then she starts projecting that onto Savvy and it's like the story of her trying to stop her mom like being obsessed with it or like being like yo worry about yourself kind of thing I don't know and then the final book that she chose is my best friend's exorcism by Grady Hendrix and she chose this because sometimes your girlfriends get a little crazy and you need to exercise them so I again don't really know that much about this other than it is a thriller and I believe 
Emma from Emma Books like really liked this book when she read it, but that's really all I know. But I really like the cover and how it's like kind of like an old horror movie cinema kind of thing into it, but I'm excited for this one. Alright everybody, so that was my TBR for March 2020. Let me know down below a couple of books that you are interested in reading this month or let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!